Here we're going to show you how to flash a custom firmware onto a 19th series ant miner. For instance, we're going to flash a Venus firmware onto an ant miner S19. This method is going to require a computer with Bellina Etcher and a micro SD card. Our website has all the resources you'll need to do so. Link in description. We'll start with a factory restore to roll back our existing firmware. To do so, download the SD Recover zip from our firmware page. Insert your micro SD card into the appropriate adapter for your computer. Make sure the card is empty and formatted to the FAT32 file system. Then extract the content of the SD Recover zip into the micro SD card and eject it safely. We'll now use it to roll back the firmware to the factory setting. Unplug the Antminer and insert the micro SD card in the control board. Look at the LED's behavior as we plug back the two power cables. We should see the fault and normal LED's turn on shortly before turning off. This indicates the unit is now flashing the firmware onto the NAND of the control board. The two LEDs on the Ethernet port light up, which indicates that the network is connected and active. Then we should see the normal LED turn solid green, which indicates that we successfully flashed the firmware. We can now unplug the unit and eject the micro SD card. We'll then etch the same card to read our custom firmware directly into the miner. This particular model will require Belina Etcher to etch the firmware on the flash memory of the micro SD card directly. To do so, we'll go to our firmware page and download the Venus firmware image for the appropriate ASIC miner. Make sure the SD card is empty and formatted to the FAT32 file system. Then we'll open Belina Etcher and click on Flash from File. Select the IMG file that we downloaded and click Open. We then click on Select Target to choose the appropriate SD card and click on Flash. We should see a message indicating that the flash is now complete. We'll now repeat the flashing procedure on the 19th series miner. Unplug the power cables and insert the micro SD card into the control board. Look at the LED's behavior as we plug back the two power cables. We should see the fault and normal LED's turn on shortly before turning off. When you see the green normal LED blinking, this means you've successfully flashed your machine with your custom firmware. This particular method requires you to leave the micro SD card inside the ASIC miner. Consider subscribing for more ASIC mining tutorials.